I'm Rich Carroll. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow you. Florida is expanding who's eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. Starting Monday, those 40 and older will be eligible, and vaccinations will expand in a big way from there. Bob Snyder is Flagler County's health officer. Effective April 5th, that all adults older than 18 will be eligible. Our goal is to reach herd immunity in Flagler County, so please go to myvaccine.fl.gov. Snyder says to date, 36,000 Flagler County residents have been inoculated against COVID-19. A man and a woman are charged in connection with a domestic battery incident. Flagler County Sheriff's deputies were called to Nutwood Avenue in Bunnell Tuesday for reports of a man who'd been shot in the arm and hospitalized at Halifax Medical Center. Sheriff Rick Staley. The victim and the suspect attempted to hide the shooting by applying a tourniquet to the victim's arm and the suspect offered to give him a free truck. Unfortunately for the suspect, the bleeding would not stop and ultimately the victim called the sheriff's office and our detectives did a great job breaking down the case to determine exactly what occurred. The victim tells police he was shot after a fight with his girlfriend, Nicole Beard. He says Dwayne Dameron fired the shot outside Beard's trailer. Dameron was charged with aggravated assault and battery with a deadly weapon, while Beard was charged with domestic battery. Several teens face charges after their so-called smart car backfired. Karen Johnson has more. It began on Friday, March 19th, when a Flagler County Sheriff's deputy conducted what was thought to be a routine traffic stop on a white 2018 Tesla when he observed it was traveling on the wrong side of the road after exiting the Wawa gas station located on State Road 100 in Palm Coast. Sheriff Rick Staley. And when they approached the vehicle, no one was in the driver's seat. Once the car stopped and the deputy checked out the vehicle, he discovered two teenage girls, ages 14 and 15, inside the car. The girls told deputies they were traveling from Charleston, South Carolina, to visit one of the girls' fathers. They both told officers the car was a Tesla and was in autopilot when it backed into the patrol car. However, it was later determined that one of the teens was operating the vehicle before putting it in autopilot, causing the crash. Deputies say the parents were contacted and had no idea what was happening. Fortunately, there was no damage to the sheriff's patrol car and only about $300 damage to the Tesla. The juvenile was also issued a ticket for driving without a driver's license. Sheriff Rick Staley says it doesn't matter if you're driving a smart car, driving without a license is still against the law. I hope these kids have learned a valuable lesson and I am grateful that no one was hurt. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. You know how when you're on a road trip, you need to make that stop for gas and food? The Flagler Executive Airport is that pit stop, but for airplanes. The airport's director, Roy Seeger, said that pilots can fly in, land, and get what they need. This is a public-use airport. That means anybody can come in here at any time. Uh, there are no fees here to land. They can come here. They can land their aircraft. Uh, come grab a bite to eat, uh, come get in some you know, gas for the aircraft. Seeger said that while there are no more hangars to rent for the planes, there are plans for more storage space. The interview with Roy Seeger is from the Flagler Voice, which airs every Saturday morning at 8.30 right here on WNZF. The program is a community service of Tag Ventures Real Estate Services. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.